Hello, welcome to Keynote. We're going to be making a Keynote presentation that has some sounds in it. So I'm just going to show you what this looks like. So it starts off, you have a little bit of text, and then the build comes in with the sound. The sound plays for 14 seconds, which is a bit long. Okay, and that's it. Let me show you how to do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and edit my sound. Okay, so I'm going to go into Hokusai, I think it's pronounced. And so I'm opening it up. And so this is usually what you see when you first get in there. You have Quick Start. You can click on that. It'll tell you how to do stuff and help. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap this plus button to make a new document. And I'm going to import a sound. You can record a sound and record a sound with your voice. That's a good thing to do. Uh, but I'm just going to take a sound, a sound off of a song. And so I'm just going to go to my music library. And you can pick a song. Now you have to be careful that if it's a song that you got off of, off of uh, iTunes, it might not let you open that. Okay. So here's one that it likes, and this is the song Sale. Okay, so I'm just going to grab a part of that. Um, I like the beginning of that song, so I'm just going to I'm going to zoom in here, and so I want part of the beginning, and I guess right until we get into the actual action. So the pro one of the problems with this is it's, it's hard to play a selection. You have to you have to do it that way. Okay. So let's say I want it to go to there. So I want to cut it after this part. Do 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 do. So I'm gonna cut it after this part, so I'm just going to zoom in just so I can start my cutting. I'm just going to make sure, so I'm just going to select. Just make sure that's... No, I want that. Yeah, let's expand that. Okay, so let's say I want to stop it. I want to stop it right here. Okay, so I'm going to. Oops, wait, hold on. I'm going to select all of that, and I'm just going to shrink down that window here. So I want to be able to see the whole song. So I want to delete all that. So delete. Now it takes a while. So when you see this this stuff you know it's kind of, it's actually thinking, it should give you a little spinning wheel, it doesn't. So it's actually just chopping that all off. You know, you really can't do much else until it's actually figured it out. Okay, I also want to trim the beginning, so I'm going to zoom in on that. Because it starts off very slowly, so I'm going to just go to the beginning here. And it's repetitive, so I want to cut out that repetitive part. I think I'm going to cut it from here. So let's select that. Okay, that's good. That's a good place to start. So I'm going to I'm going to remove all that and that little tiny bit here. I just want to remove that. Okay. Then delete. All right. So this is my clip now. All right. Um, maybe I want to fade this out at the end. Now, you see, there's, for some reason, even though we cut this out, it's still playing. No, now it's not. Good. Okay. So let's go back here. Whoops. Let's go back to here. And I'm going to play from that point. And that's where I should end. 
I want to fade that out at the end because I don't want it to just go blip and, and stop. So I'm going to select from here. Okay, and then to fade it out, I'm going to click on more. And then I'm going to go to fade out. Okay, so that fades it out, and there we go. So there's the there's my sound. Let's play that from the beginning. Okay, and that's my sound. So now I want to export that. So I'm going to click on this button, and then I'm going to go to Quick Export, and it's going to say, you haven't set up Quick Export, and I'm going to say, okay, well, let's export then. And what I want to do is, okay, WAV file, MPEG-4, uh, MPEG-4 sounds nice, so I'm going to go with that. And what quality do I want? Low quality is fine. Um, we're just using it in a, in a keynote presentation, so that's probably fine. And open in other application, because we want to open it in iMovie, so I'm going to press Done. Okay, then it exports. Alright, and then we have a choice of what to open it in. And I'm going to choose iMovie. And I'm going to click Create a New Project. Okay, and there's my sound. Okay, so now, if I press play, there it is. That's good enough. I'm going to go back to my project, and I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call this one Sail Clip. Done. And then I'm going to export that to the camera roll. Okay, and I'm going to pick medium. All right, I pick the lowest possible quality I can because it's just audio. Okay, now to put that into a keynote, so I'm going to go into keynote, and I'm going to make a new presentation. So I create a presentation, and so I want a white background, and I'm going to replace that photo with one of my own, so I'm going to go into camera roll, and I'm going to pick it. All right, so there's the picture, and I'm going to call that, uh, okay, and then here, I'm just going to delete that part. All right, so to make an animation in uh, Keynote, it's called a build, so I'm going to just click that, and I'm going to go up to the, uh, the uh, little wrench thing, and I'm going to do a transition and build, and I want it to build in, that means it's animating in, and you can choose how it does it, you can try out all kinds of different things. Um, I'm going to try Dissolve, see how that looks. That looks nice. Okay, so that's pretty nice. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make... Here, I'm going to make a new one, so I'm going to press Done. Now this is how to get the sound in. Okay, so I'm going to click Plus because I'm adding something. And I'm going to go to the Camera Roll, and I'm going to get that project. Okay, so I'm going to... Okay, that's the one I want. So I'm going to click Use. Now, right away, it's huge, right? We want it to be a lot smaller, so I'm going to shrink it right down so it's just big enough that I can grab it and still see it, okay? And then I'm going to tell it to become a build, so transitions and build. So that's great. And then... Okay, so I'm just going to click on it. We want it to start the movie. That's good. And I'm going to go to Options. So the options are on tap, but I want it to come in automatically with my animation above. So I'm going to say with build number one. Okay? And that's that. You can change the order that these things happen in. All right, there's a lot of different things you can do there. But that's how to do it. Now, we don't want this black dot sitting here on the screen. So I'm going to take this. Whoops, I have to press done before I can move it. I'm going to take it. I'm just going to drag it down here, just off the screen. Okay? So that when you actually play it, you don't see it. All right? So you don't see it, so you can just drag it anywhere off the screen here. Movie, when you play the, uh, the presentation, you don't see the actual, you know, black uh, image. So now I'm just going to...
All right, so your animation came in and the sound's playing. And that's how to add an edited sound onto your keynote in the fewest steps possible. Have a good day.